Welcome to Pokapat ABC Tanojang, Jungdung Dongsa Pyeon. Today is month one, day 17. Our first word of the day is chakko. Chakko, meaning, 혼자서 소리 작게 끼끼 웃다. Or, 웃음 참으며 쿡쿡 웃다. So, if I were to chuckle, it would be like, <laughs> 작게, 좀 숨기게, 웃는 거예요. So it means to laugh quietly, 작게 웃는 거, or to oneself. Just 혼자서, 그, 단 사람이, 그, 들을 수 없게. 그냥 막, <laughs> 이런 거예요. 비, 약간 비웃는 느낌도 있어요. So, as you can see, this emoji is chuckling. Or, um, if you look at a some type of joke, you might chuckle. Or if you see someone in an interesting outfit, you might chuckle in the background. So, chuckle rang bista marin, chortle, that means to chuckle with more of like a uh, uh, noise, like kind of men chortle more than chuckle. Laugh is to loudly chuckle, right? Ha 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 ha. Google, that's laugh. Giggle is something that women or children might do. It's more of like a <laughs> It's something like that. And then snigger. Snigger is kind of like a negative laughing. It's like when someone is making fun of someone else, they might snigger at you or sneer at you. So we could say he chuckled over watching TV. TV 보면서 그 끼끼끼끼를 혼자서 웃었다. He was just laughing alone quietly while watching TV. The next word is churn. Churn. 한국말로는 휘졌다, 거품나게 하다. So we usually use churn to talk about butter or some type of like milk product. So to agitate or stir milk or cream. So stir is 휘졌다, and then 거품나게 하다. It could be if you're making whipped cream or Maybe if you were making um, something with egg whites, you would agitate it, you would move it around until it puffed up or created something solid. That's what churn means. So as you can see, this is a butter churn. This woman is churning butter. This is a different kind of butter churn. Or this fan, this windmill, kind of churns the air. So another word for churn would be to stir up. Hidotta swirl or agitate. All of these have the meaning of to kind of move in a circle, to move something around in a liquid. So you could say the storm churned the sea. So the storm, 폭풍이나 태풍, churned, 휘졌다, the sea, 바다를. So 그 폭풍이 바다를 휘졌다, 거품나게 했다, 뭐 파도 많게 했다. It basically moved all of the liquid. The next word is cling. Cling. 한국말로는 달라붙다, 매달리다. So it means to hold tight, 꼭 잡아, or adhere closely, 붙다. So you might see it something like a baby clinging to its mother, or cling wrap covering a sandwich, or vines clinging to a tree, People in a flood clinging to something to stay afloat. Or you could say that tape clings to things. It sticks to things. So, clinging bista marin adhere. Adhere means to putta. It means to stick to something. So, something like tape or glue would adhere things together. Cohere has the same meaning. And stick to means like literally stay close together. So you can stick to something like glue, or you can metaphorically stick to something like a girl might stick close to her boyfriend. She might not want to go far from him. So if we were to use cling in a sentence, we could say wet paper clings to glass. So wet paper clings to glass. So we might say 젖었던 종이가 그 유리잔을 달라붙였다. So it sticks to it. It adheres to the glass so that it's hard to get it off the glass. The, the next word is comfort. Comfort. 한국말로는 편안하게 하다. 편안. So if you're using it as a verb, if you comfort someone, that's 
편안하게 하다. And then comfort in itself is 편안. So what does comfort mean? It means to make a state of ease. Ease is 편안. So to make a state of 편한 상황을 만든다. Being relaxed. Relax 식는다. 막 긴장되지 않게. And feeling no pain. 아픔 없이. So if we look at this cat, they're comfortable and just laying down on the carpet. Or you might say that you're in comfort class on a plane. You're in the most comfortable class. 제일 편안한 그 자리에 앉아 있는 거예요. Or you might say a word of comfort to your friends. You might help them feel better. 편안하게 해주는 거예요. And when we feel comfortable, comfortable, this means when you feel 편안, 편안함 느끼는 거예요. So 이건 형용사이고, when you feel comfortable, you might be in your comfort zone. Comfort zone is where you feel the most at ease. So ease, so comfort랑 비슷한 말은 ease is 편안, relax, 긴장 안 되는 거고, or 긴장하지 않은 거. Calm down is 긴장 풀, 풀리는 거고, and tranquilize is 긴장 풀리는 거, 거, 거예요. 근데 tranquilize is a very, very much stronger word. When you're tranquilized, you're almost sleepy. So you might say, the nurse comforted the patient. So, 간호사가 환자를 편안하게 해, 해줬다. So she helped that patient feel better. He or she helped that patient feel better.